Terry Swells, though. Brother, that told me a whole weather report. Typhoon's coming in, everything, boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Not the wrestler. No, not. I'm going to eat too much money. <laughs> a little chilly in the TV studio. It boy. is. We got to sell some books so we turn the heat on. It's Techwood Drive Studio. Oh, oh, I love that, boy. That I did that? You did read my book. Oh, yeah, my God. I did. I did. Michael Hayes chopped me one time. I mean, we, oh, it's in the book, too. Night tracks. Yes, boy. Pop about to quiz come, today, folks. That's the commercial we did. <laughs> boy, you did read my book. Pop quiz. That's awful sweet, boy. You got my Zubas on, too. It's cold here and yeah. cold. Cold weather, boy. Okay, we got to knock this out, boy. All knock right. Out. Quiet on set. Ain't nobody over. Nobody's talking. Nobody's here. <laughs> Just tear swells. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Right. We're jumping in this real early. I know, buddy. I know. Here we go. sure ain't going to be training long. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome yes. to another edition of Dad, You Don't Work, You Wrestle. You hear the claps, you know what time it is. George, how was your weekend? Bullet, unbelievable. You know, I am so excited right now because this coming week, coming up, will be one of the first times in a long time that Sonny and Cher will actually be traveling together. Yes. Bullet. Of course, we're talking about this coming weekend, Rome, Georgia, huge, huge fan fest. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be there right in the middle of everything. Yep. Uh, anytime the Nature Boy's there, uh, Ric Flair, I got to say that right because there's like 200 Nature Boys yes, now, is. but uh, Nature Boy Ric Flair, anytime he's there uh, with all of us, and of course, uh, Dad, you don't work, you wrestle, anything can happen. And we hope a few books get sold. But anyway, boy, I want, before we get started, I want to, you always hope it works this way, but I want to put out a special thank you to Colt Cabana. You know that? I did his podcast, yes. Bullet, and he uh, he let me, you know, plug my website, plug my book. Bullet, I sold three books, and you can say, so what? But Bullet, three books I sold this past week, and each person that wrote me requesting a book through my website said that they got the information from Colt's I may not be saying that because Colt may want a booking fee. But anyway, <laughs> uh, gosh, I better shut up about that. No, but, I think he's very, very, uh, very appreciative. He's, he's a, a door opener in a sense. Yes. And he understands that those are now three new people that know about George Sal. That's exactly and, right. And, and that's what he's doing is, is shedding a light on some people that, that wrestling fans should know. Thank you. And I love that bullet because I like to find out, as of course you do, you know, where did you hear about it? You know, like we talked about last week, yeah. giving a poster out hand to hand on the street or something like that. And, uh, they actually was very nice about it and just said that, yeah, we were listening. We listen to Colt all the time. And uh, he uh, heard your episode with the book and the website and it just worked. Sometimes the, the, the pieces fit, bullet. But anyway. I uh, had a real good week this past week, Bullet. I was up in Mooresboro. You know, this is one of those towns, Bullet, that everybody has tried to run and draw good. And, and I've been there with two or three people. I mean, it's been hard to find. Just an old building, an old, a good old wrestling building. But anyway, I was very proud of this particular promoter. I love when somebody just tries to do it. Everybody's got a right to run a show. Yeah. None of us own the rights to run in a wrestling show, Bullet. I would not suggest that anybody try it. Uh, unless you got some money uh, invested uh, somewhere. But anyway, this guy did, drew about 100, 125 people, which I thought was very good. Uh, of course, me and Ricky Morton killed another town, but that's beside the point. But boy, it, it was just a great time. The people were real nice to us. People came out. And, you know, when I heard people say, well, we wish the house could have been better, I'm going to choke them. Bullet, because I'm telling you, for, for a show locally like this in a building that everybody else has done killed to begin with, when you pull over 100 people there, Bullet, I can't, I, you know, I don't know. Maybe I've just been doing this so long, but I'm excited. I still know what it takes for one person to get off that couch in the comfortableness of their home and come to wrestling. Mm -hmm. So uh, to Especially have 100, this weather that, that we're the having. weather we're having, Bullet, and the price of gas and everything else, and usually the shows are horrifying. So I was very appreciative of the people uh, that come out, and I was just—it was just an exciting time, boy. Sometimes, you know, it's just—it's just good to see guys try it. He's going to try to run it once a month, and had Magnum TA there last week, and it drew real good. But anyway, uh, he did. It was just a good little time, boy. Close to home too. We, we always—we yeah. always, always say that's an added plus. Exactly. Plus, it was 85 South, which goes right beside. R.O.'s Barbecue, yes. which uh, Sonny and Cher may be uh, visiting there. Oh, there's no baby. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's happening. There's no baby about uh, it. Uh, on, our, uh, on our reunion tour uh, mm -hmm. this weekend. So anyway, a lot a lot going on, boy. I do want to thank everybody again for, uh, I've already had a few emails. Will I be bringing the book? I thought, buddy, the book comes before I do. book's already there in Rome, mm -hmm. Georgia, but got a brand new case uh, arriving this week. And, of course, the book will be there uh, this week, Bullet. Of course, we'll be there with HighSpots.com. Huge, huge event, and we're going to be part of it. Buddy. Right 
right there together. Uh, this is episode uh, 48, I think, Bullet. 47 or 48. Yes, Gosh. we're in the neighborhood. Uh, it, well, you know what is so special about all this? We didn't plan this, folks, is episode 50 will become rolling around, uh, rolling around right in the holiday season. Bullet. Mm -hmm. Man, I get so excited about that. You will see. It may, it may just be one Christmas light, but we will have Christmas lights here decorated. Pretty exactly. Soon, it may be that the power bill ain't paid and some lights are flickering. Yeah, we may not be able to pay for that nice, nice studio light we have. <laughs> oh, but uh, definitely we'll have some lights in here. We'll definitely some have sort. some lights. I think we can get one of them little green screens like they used to do at Techwood Drive that just makes everything look Christmassy. Yeah. Bullet on little screen. But anyway, everything's doing good. Before we get off here, Bullet, you know, uh, I, I, you know, I always talk about my kids, how much I love them, and, and the things that we get into together. They're very embarrassed sometimes of their dad, if you can believe it. <laughs> but you know, Bullet, I guess I'm so out of the loop with things that you know, when I go, and sometimes I hate change, well, I always hate change, Bullet, but, you know, pretty soon there'll be, uh, you know, it'll be a while because I still got to make some money with you, but eventually there'll be little bullets running around, all this kind of stuff, and you will experience some of these things that I hate. You know, take, for instance, uh, the one person uh, or company. You know, we're, Bullet, we're not afraid of anybody. We'll take on a multi-million dollar company here at Dad, you don't, or you're probably thinking, you'll take on them, George. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, George, you'll take them on. <laughs> <laughs> but leave me out of it. But you know, something I had just hit my face this past week, you know, my little grandbaby Dallas, uh, who, the greatest text I ever got, Bullet, I had to put it on there, was when you sent me the text from, from SmackDown this week, and the little boy behind you without a shirt, you know, with cowboy boots was my grandbaby. Boy, that was just, that yeah, was cool. My girlfriend's like, there. she goes, don't look right now, but there is, a, there is a, a young child, very young, with their shirt off, wearing cowboy boots. And of course, I look and turn, and there's George Jr. <laughs> with the grandbaby. And I, and in the back of my mind, I'm like, why am I not surprised? <laughs> well, that was so, the greatest. But, but I'll say this, when I told my girlfriend why... Uh, your grandbaby's uh, shirt is off is because he saw a wrestling ring. So when he sees the wrestling and yes, walks he toward it, he takes his shirt off. Yes, he does. She thought that was the most adorable thing she's ever heard. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. He can be in Walmart and somebody mentioned WWE SmackDown and John Cena and the shirt comes off. Right in the uh, the fast food line. The, the 15 or more item line. Yes. Boy, that's which I'm usually at because I ain't got much money to buy a lot of stuff. But anyway, <laughs> boy, that's, a side, that that's a side note, okay? Uh, but anyway, boy, so this week, you know, I uh, had a day off. I was going to spend time with my grandbaby, Dallas. And as I'm reaching into my pocket to get the idiot of well, this week. I better get bullet, the idiot bag. We are taking on a billion-dollar company this week. You know, whose idea was it? Happy Meals have been around as long as I have, bullet. You know what? <laughs> are you putting uh, Happy Meals in yeah, here? Yeah, Happy Meals are going in idiot box. Whose idea? I, you know, I take little Dallas in, bullet. When we were there, when we were young, boys, of course when I was young, you go get a Happy Meal. They got the big greasy hamburger. They got the fries. They got the drink. All the stuff that's going to kill you. But it's it's good, Bullet. It's good. <laughs> Do you know now, Bullet, whose stupid idea was this? And it had to be some higher up in McDonald's. You go get a Happy Meal now. It is apple slices, a water, and a book. Oh, my heart, <laughs> Bullet. A book. I said, lady, you're joking, right? She said, no. I said, where's the Batman toy? I said, I said, where's the fries? She said, sir, we don't put that in Happy Meals anymore. Bullet, has the world gone nuts? How are you supposed to be happy? <laughs> That's the that? most unhappiest meal I've ever had in my life. And, she, and it's all this dietary crap, Bullet. You know what I'm saying? It's all this stuff that, yeah, you're going to live longer, but you're going to be miserable. <laughs> and plus, well, here was my point to this lady, and she didn't understand. My grandbaby's th two. He's got a long time to live. Even if you got cholesterol, high blood pressure, and all that stuff that kills you from French fries at two, you got some time. Bullet, you, <laughs> I was hot. No toy, a book. Bullet, I never read a book in my life. Look how I turned out. I mean, I okay? understand apple I mean, really. slices, but come on. At least get a Batman toy. Oh, there's no, no Batman toy. I looked at her and I said, man, wh wh what is this? And forget that they charge you about six bucks for all this. You get a cardboard box. Bullet. Oh, I was hot. So, we dropped four or five bucks for a Happy Meal with Dallas is hot. I may understand it, you know, being a respectable citizen that I am of the community. But your little grandbaby, two years old, was hot. But I'm just telling you right now, and that was the that that turned into a miserable day. I'm just telling you right now. Because you so, ate apples and you read a book. Oh yeah, and he drank a water. 
Oh my gosh, Bullet! And it's the stupidest book in the world. It ain't like Dad, you don't work, you wrestle. Now if that's in the happy, oh that fit right in, Bullet. Yeah, yeah. If that, if it was in there, it'd be different. But anyway, Bullet. So we left. What we left McDonald's. I went and dropped thirty bucks at the dollar store, trying to even out the heartbreak that my little grandbaby. So this week, Bullet, right here, uh, the Happy Meal. I'm telling you right now, Bullet, there ain't nothing safe <laughs> from the idiot bag. The Happy Meal. Goes into the idiot bag. I've never seen nothing like it, Bullet. I'm sitting there asking the lady, where are the fries? And she, she's fixing to call the FBI in on me. I'm just telling you right <laughs> now, Bullet. Uh, but I get, and, and I know, understand, you can't say, you can't feed cheeseburgers to your, your grandbaby all the time. But Bullet, when you're two years old, Bullet. You, when you're going to McDonald's, what are you going to McDonald's for? Uh, exactly. That's exactly right, Bullet. But I didn't know that. And you can say, George, where have you been living? Under a rock? Probably. Uh, so, but, but my point is, Bullet... That may be how things have been. I haven't bought a Happy Meal in a long time, Bullet. Probably won't buy another one for a long time. Next time, we'll just bypass McDonald's, go straight to the dollar store, and little Dallas will be happy. But just uh, for Grandpa wanting to take his grandbaby and have a great, juicy, greasy cheeseburger and some fries and a Coke, it, I, Bullet, it may not be anymore. I don't know. First, they closed my Blockbuster down. Bullet, you know that, because all of our Blockbuster stuff, we're in a heck. Bullet, we all went to Blockbuster. Just, I don't know. I know it's the signs of the times and the changes and stuff, Bullet, but man, in a week I found out Blockbuster closes, you can't get a greasy hamburger anymore in a Happy Meal. So anyway, it was a rough week. That sounds it was like a rough it. week. And for those of you Luckily, me and my two-year-old are on the same brainwave level, Bullet, yeah. that, that I was able to smooth things over. The Damn. normal human being may not have been able to do that, but anyway, we're right there uh, on the same age, you know, <clears throat> same age level. So uh, my two-year-old understood. Papa made things better, dropping thirty bucks at the dollar store. But uh, anyway, everybody's happy now. We just will find other ways to uh, enjoy a meal, bullet. But anyway, I didn't know it. Y'all folks may know it. Y'all a little bit brighter than me. I don't get out like y'all do. But happy meals are in the idiot bag this week. Yes. Well, so, the, yes, those of you keeping score at home, George South put Happy Meals in the idiot bag. I sure did, buddy. You Once say again, I shouldn't have been so surprised, much <laughs> like that George South hates Happy Meals. Man, I'm telling you, no more Happy Meals. Boy, I just, I don't know. I don't like it. I'm going to fight it all. Uh, you know, and I even said, you know, Ole Anderson's grandbaby don't eat sliced apples in a water. But anyway, you said that had nothing to do with wrestling. But folks, listen, just, I don't know. I'm fighting the changes as a grandpa and as a dad, and it's getting harder, Bullet. It's mm -hmm. getting harder. Uh, but anyway, just give me my cheeseburger, a Batman toy. You know, the Batman toy would have smoothed things over, Bullet. You know Batman that. toy fixes everything. It does. Just like the front yard, George South Boogie Bash. A Christian uh, Bale Batman toy. Maybe not so much the Ben Affleck. Oh, no, no, Ben Affleck. Uh, Let's don't even get on that. Oh, my still gosh. still 50-50 oh, yes. on that one Oh, yes. Right now. Even a Michael Keaton. A Michael Keaton Batman. Yeah, I'm, he's Definitely not a George over. Clooney one. Oh, no, though. George Clooney. I think he's the reason that they don't put them in Happy Meals anymore. Yeah. George Clooney, you killed the Happy Meal. Not just the Batman franchise, but he killed the Happy Meal franchise. Yes. Anyway, I love everybody, Bullet. Rome, Georgia, here we come. Sonny and Cher, back together again. That's right, folks. So, once again, you can go to George South's book at highspots.com. Oh, that was good, Bullet. That was a good to the one. point. To the bullet. point. We got to it. Oh, man. We buried everybody, Bullet. <laughs> I'll never eat another Happy Meal. My two-year-old still thinks Papa let him down.